Varus, me meus, at suos amores, vi sum duxorate furoti osum scortilu, ut mitum repente vi subs non san in lepidum nequin venustum. Hucut venimus in cedere nobis sermonis vari, in quibus quid esset iam betunia, quom modo se haberet, et quoniam mihi profuisset aere. Respondi it quid erat nihil neque ipsis nec prait horribus esse ne cohorti, cur quisquam caput uncti us referet, praesertum quibus esset irumator praetor, nec faceret bili cohortum. At certe tamen, inquiunt, quod illic natum dicitur esse, comparasti ne ad lecticomines? Ego, ut puellae unum me facerem beatiorum, non in quam mihi tam fuit maligne, ut provincia quid maligne dicet, non pos hoc domines parare rectos. At minulus erat, nequic nequilic, fractum qui vetetis pedem grabati, in colo sibi conlocare posset. Hic illa, ut decuit cinae diorum, quae so, in quid mihi micatule, paluis dos comoda, nam volat serapem deferi. Ma ne, in qui puellae, istud quen modo dixera me habere, fugit meratio, me os sodalis cinas de gaios, isi vi paravit. Ver, ut trilius an mei, quid a me? Utor tam bene quam mihi pararem. Sed tu, insula malet molesta huivis, per quam non licet esse neglegentem. My dear Varus had just led me from the forum where I was idling to pay a visit to his mistress. A nice little whore, thought I, at first glance, not entirely without charm or good looks. Having arrived in the place, we fell into conversation, talking of this and of that, and amongst other things, what sort of place is Bithynia now, about its affairs, and whether or not had I made any money there. And I responded truthfully that neither the people themselves, nor their administrators, nor their staff could find any means of returning from there any fatter than whence they'd arrived, especially seeing as they have such a cocksucker for a prider, one who doesn't give a fuck about his cohorts. Well, at any rate, says she, you must certainly have got some litter bearers for your chair, as I'm told that's the country where they're bred. Then I in order to make myself seem to the girl especially fortunate above the rest, I said to her, Well, things didn't go so unkindly with me over there, bad as the province was which fell to me by chance, as to prevent my gaining eight straight-backed fellows. Now, truthfully, I had neither a single slave here nor there strong enough to hoist onto his back even the broken leg of a sedan chair. But then she, just as befits the little sodomite, says to me, Oh, I beg of you, my dear Catullus, do lend me those slaves but for a day, for I want to be carried to the temple of Serapis. Hold on, I say to the girl, what I have said just now about those slaves being mine, well, reason escaped me. I recall now it was my friend, Gaius Sinna, he who bought them. But really, what's it to me whether they're his or mine? For I can use them while I please. But you, whore, are a stupid, bothersome thing. You who won't let anyone be off of their guard. Thanks, Catullus, for that example of urbanitas. Wale te amiki.